Hi ladies and welcome to your daily Divine Feminine reading. So today we're going to be pulling from the Divine Feminine Oracle deck. And weirdly enough, this was the very, very first deck that I ever bought when my life tanked, okay? And um, it's quite funny that I should be doing this now, you know, <laughs> a Divine Femininity coach. How crazy is that? I did not know then that that's what I'd be doing now. All I knew is that I was grasping because my life had fallen apart and the tower had fallen and um, yeah, it was real life, but now life is pretty damn good. So Spirit, what uh, what messages do you have for the Divine Feminines? Who do they need to embody in order to elevate their lives? What messages do you have for us, Spirit? One card, please, just one. one two. Oh, that's way too many. I said just the one card. One card, please, Spirit. Just one. Who do they need to embody? Oh, what message do you have from that specific person? Whoa, and again, way too many. One card, please, Spirit. Just the one card. Whoa, okay, that was a very clear message. <sighs> right. I'm going to say this name, but it could be very wrong. I'm going with Quan Yin, okay? Quan Yin, the goddess of compassion. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Courtesy breeds compassion. Okay, so put this away. <sighs> Where can we be practicing more compassion? Some of us have got this down. Some of us in the, are in a season where we're kind of just stressed out and under it. And maybe we're not being as compassionate as we could be. Okay, spirit wants us to practice more compassion. Okay, the goddess of compassion compassion i recognize suffering in order to release it okay i don't know who this is for but some of you okay or i'll say some of us are not seeing the plight of others and maybe could stand to be a little bit more courteous when it comes to that okay so again i don't know who that's for but i'm just going to say that Spirit would like us to get into our divine feminine energy of compassion. It can be hard to have compassion when you're hurting. It can be hard to have compassion when you have a conflicting argument or if you have a conflicting viewpoint, okay? And again, I'm not above any of this, okay? The whole point of divine femininity is that you accept the fact that you're not perfect, okay? And that is why I make a differ differentiation between the whole typical... Um, you know, femininity movement and divine femininity, because I don't expect you to be like me. I don't expect you to be like her. I expect you to be like you, okay? And be divinely feminine in your own right, okay? That doesn't mean that you get to, to just do whatever. It means that everything you do, you do it in a divinely feminine way. That means that you do have compassion. That means that you are courteous. That means that you are kind. And yeah, of course you're going to have boundaries, but that also means that you don't have to fit into any specific, you know, way of being. The one thing that I've seen of late is this kind of cookie cutter way to be feminine. And I'm here to say, if you're a hippie girl, be divinely hippie, okay? But I I want you to understand that everything should be done with a spirit of love and a spirit of compassion, because what they say is love conquers all, and they're right, okay? Because the most high is love, and the most high is compassionate, okay? And Maybe you're the type of divine feminine who has compassion for everybody else but herself. If nobody told you this, I want you to know that you're doing a great job, okay? You're doing a really, really great job. You are doing quite literally the best that you can do in the space that you are now. That doesn't mean that ret retrospectively you, you'll look back in 10 years and, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. You may never give yourself a pat on the back for where you are, but you are where you are and for those of you who are trying to climb out of it, you're doing the best that you can. Have some compassion for yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself. If you wouldn't say it to a friend, don't say it to yourself. If you wouldn't speak to your friend how, you how your inner thoughts speak to you, don't you dare speak to yourself like that, okay? You must have compassion for yourself, you must have forgiveness for yourself, and you must have love for yourself, okay? Embody that. All right, ladies, until the next one.